Following the disturbances at Money Grow Savings and Credit Cooperative Society offices yesterday by some individuals who are on a own a motor vehicle scheme demanding refunds, the cooperative has weighed in on the matter. We had agents, these were our faces for the cooperative. These are the people that would go out there and sign up members to grow the member base, okay? Uh, these are the people that now ended up um, creating fake receipts and that uh, translated into the money not reaching the cooperative. Huge sums of money were actually coming from fake receipts and this is money that did not hit the cooperative. This caused the whole car scheme not sustainable because, look, you pay 30%, okay, on a fake receipt. It simply means that 30% has not hit the cooperative, meaning the cooperative was now, you know, uh, subsidizing almost 100%. Because if the 30% has not come in, it is on a fictitious receipt. It means someone has got to take responsibility. We have uh, court cases, we have people that will appear in court soon. The police, we've got uh, a case with the police that are investigating all these matters. And we continue to unveil evidence to the police so that we allow the, the law to take its course. She has also detailed how the motor vehicle scheme works, especially on deposits. We are saying if you pay the 30%, you top up a 40 to make it 70%. And where is this money going? It's going to the supply. It's going straight to the supply. It's not even coming to the cooperative. And once that process is done, you immediately get your car. She has reassured the individuals who have demanded refunds of payments. So to our general membership, I would like to clearly state here that stay calm. Give us time to work. It was only last week that we had engaged with you through the meeting. We are working around the clock to ensure that all those that are on the backlog that are yet to receive their cars, who receive their cars. One of the beneficiaries of the motor vehicle scheme who had fallen prey to the agents is glad that he will be handed his vehicle today. Tito Kalama, Diamond News.